The initial idea for the song Taste and See came from Psalms 34, 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. All the joys of those who take refuge in Him. After reading this verse on this one particular day, I remember getting a significant amount of inspiration to write a song. And unlike the writing process for a majority of my songs, it happened very quickly. In a few short hours, the entire song was very close to being completed. The next couple of days, I spent time singing it, making sure everything fit together. I had a bridge that I wasn't all that sold on, and I was hanging out with my good friend Brady Pendergrass on a Wednesday afternoon in this very room. We would spend a lot of time back then together, bouncing song ideas off of one another. And so I showed him the whole song and that I was pretty much in need of a bridge. So it became this beautiful co-writing moment together where we were able to come up with really the best part of the song. We exchanged several ideas back and forth and I knew that I wanted it to have the Lord's faithfulness as the theme. Brady said, what if we did something like Oh, so faithful, you are so good. And immediately in that moment, a melody dropped in my spirit. We played it a dozen times, recorded a phone demo, and the rest is history. to write a song that would challenge people to taste and see that the Lord is good. I have experienced the goodness of the Lord throughout my entire life. Even in seasons and in moments that I thought were difficult, I can look back now and see that He was faithful even when I didn't understand it. He is always faithful and He is always good and He will never let you down. I hope taste and see has blessed you. Thank you so much for taking the time to stream my first single. And if you're hearing about Taste and See for the very first time today, it is available wherever you listen to music.